Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today I'm back with another steak experiment. This one involves pineapple juice to tenderize steak. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Today we're back with another steak experiment. Right now beef prices are through the roof as a result of the quarantine, or what I like to call that viry. So with prices being so high we need to find some alternative cheaper cuts of beef. But the problem with cheap cuts of beef is they can sometimes be a little tough. So today we're going to do a little experiment. Right here we have an eye of round steak. It uh, looks just like a tenderloin, only the problem is it's much less tender. Take a look at it. Look at it, would you? There's a lot less inner muscular fat running throughout here, very little. And as we say at Red Meat Lover, the fat is where it's at. So in order to get this more tender, we've taken one of these steaks and soaked them right here in pineapple juice. So I've heard from people all across the entire interwebs that this really helps break down the steak, but I've never tried it myself. So in researching for this, I discovered that the pineapple juice has acidic uh, like enzymes that help break down the meat. This is freshly squeezed pineapple juice that we did ourselves using a juicer. And we actually did a product review for that in another video. So this steak has been marinating for about an hour. Through my research, I really know that this works from what other people have said, but I've never tried it myself. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna try it out test it, and then share those results with everyone at home. So right over there, uh, we have the Weber kettle. It's getting nice and hot. We're going to throw the steaks on there. In case you're wondering, right over there, we're doing another little experiment with ribs using foil versus peach butcher paper. It should be a really neat experiment. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Those ribs smell absolutely fantastic. But enough with that. I'm going to go ahead and take this steak right here. I'm going to rinse it off completely. We're going to season it and get it on the grill. Okay, so I'm back from washing off all the pineapple juice. Now I know some of you at home are gonna say, but I didn't see you wash it off, but I did. We just didn't get that on B-roll. It's all the way inside. It would require moving all the cameras, but here we have it. I just wanna pick it up. I wanna show you, you know, you can see it has a different color. You can already see those fibers beginning to separate. So I, I mean, I think that that's proof that the tenderization process is in fact working. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it seasoned with some of our big tasty steak rub. This is a simple rub we created ourselves using common ingredients found in most kitchens. We give it away for free on our website. There's a link in the profile below. You can use this or simply whatever you like. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get both sides of these steaks seasoned right here. on the grill. All right, so now we're ready to get these steaks on the grill. But before we do, I just wanna bring your attention to this grill grate right here. That's literally the name of it. We've included a link in the description below if you wanna buy it for yourself. What this does is it prevents flare-ups. It distributes the heat evenly across all surface area. And boy, does it provide some awesome grill marks. Right over here is our pineapple. Let's get that down and listen to that. That is the sound of tasty. And then here's our regular. We're gonna leave these here for about 30 seconds. We're gonna rotate them and then flip them.
right guys, these are done cooking. And take a look at those sexy grill marks. Looks absolutely incredible. Pull these off at about a medium uh, temperature of a 130, 135, both of them. Let's cut them open, see how they look. Oh, that rose up a little bit after I pulled it off the grill. I mean, it's a thin steak, so it's, I mean, these are always hard to cook. It could be a little closer to a medium well. Definitely not a medium rare. Medium is what I'll call that. And this is our pineapple marinated steak right here. Let's take a look. And the first thing you notice is, I mean, this thing is noticeably softer. It's like pulling apart at the top, which is kind of what I read would happen with this experiment. But take a look at that. Again, close to a medium. It's got the pink on the inside on both of them. They look good. Uh, now, let's see if there's any impact on the tenderness. I'm gonna start over here with our, our control steak. This had no marinade, and you can kind of feel it's tough, kind of cutting through it. Yeah, that is not a tender steak, guys. It's not bad, definitely edible. Just trying to look to make sure I didn't get cut into any of those thick fat veins that were in there. It will do the job. It's not a tender steak. So let's check the impact of our pineapple marinade. I mean, it, it just feels a lot softer. It feels so much softer. That's really neat. The cut wasn't as, as soft as I thought it would be, but let's take a bite. That is noticeably tender steak. There's no sweetness left over from the pineapple. I'd be stretching to say there might be just a hint of it, but it's not anything I would notice if I didn't know it was there when testing this versus testing this. Maybe a little bit of sweetness. It's, there's something there. A little bit of flavor difference, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So this reminds me a lot of our salt steak experiment where we salted steaks for one day before cooking, one hour before cooking, and one minute before cooking. When you tasted them side by side, you could definitely taste the difference. That steak that was salted for one day in advance had a salty bite all the way through. And that's kind of what I would say about this pineapple marinated steak. You probably wouldn't notice it if it was by itself. In a comparison, yeah, it comes through just a little bit. But the outcome is it's a much more tender steak. And with where beef and steak prices are today, we need to try to find as many hacks as we can to turn economy steaks into delicious steaks. So, hey look, don't take my word for this stuff. I want you guys to try it at home for yourself, just like I did. Let us know what you think. Hey, and if you liked our video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button, or even better, subscribe to our channel because we release a new video recipe every single week. Also. We have some really neat things happening on this channel coming to you in August and September of this year called Meet America. It's a brand new podcast and travel cooking show where we will introduce you to experts from all over the country. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. Hmm. Interesting experiment here. Very interesting.